If you like to learn Gothic calligraphy, then you've come to the right channel. This is part one of a tutorial series. The easiest way to learn calligraphy is to watch how it's done, then follow along and practice repetitively. So in this series, except for part one, I'll be demonstrating the strokes of each letter for you to follow, rather than talking about it. I've also included links so you can download three PDF files of Gothic alphabets, numbers, and symbols. In order to view the subsequent parts of this tutorial, you may want to take time now to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and bell. Now let's get on with it. Before anything else, you must draw the margins. I'm using a dotted metric charting paper in 5mm spacing to better illustrate the measurements. The Gothic letters comprises of three sections, the body of the lower case being drawn now, the ascender above, and the descender below. As a rule of thumb, the height of the lower case body is five times that of the width of the nib of a calligraphy pen. I am drawing this for a nib width of 2 millimeters. The ascender and descender are each 2.5 times that of the nib width. With this 2 millimeter calligraphy pen, I'll make some marks to illustrate the margins as it relates to the nib width. Now I'll demonstrate by writing some Gothic letters. The uppercase letter encompasses the body and the ascender. Here I'm writing the uppercase letter E. The lowercase letter C is just the height of the body. A lowercase letter like a B includes the ascender. The lowercase letter like Y includes the body and the descender. Now let's do the margins for a 4 millimeter nib. The ascender becomes 10 millimeters in height. The body is 20 millimeters. and the descender is 10 millimeters. Now this illustrates how the margins correspond to the 4 millimeter nib width. Now let's write the same Gothic letters this time using the 4mm nib. There you have it for part 1. Please watch part 2 which is about all the gothic strokes you need to practice. And please subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment.